All right, so 2023 is getting underway. We're just approaching February and a program called ChatGBT was released in November. It quickly accumulated over a million users faster than a company like Facebook. So you can see there's a lot of momentum with ChatGBT 3, which is the current version at the time of speaking. And it was developed by a company called OpenAI. Microsoft has already uh, invested $3 billion and just very recently it made a commitment to invest a further multi-billion over a number of years into OpenAI to further develop this technology which has a lot of different use cases. For example, Microsoft Bing Search is planning to use this technology to uh, make it a better search and compete with Google. Right now we're seeing that ChatGBT can answer a lot of different searches and just give you a singular answer based on the data available on the internet. So as a content creator, what are some use cases that you can use this technology for? So one example is I just ask it to create a blog post uh, giving me a breakdown of the best video cameras in 2022. So it's given me a blog post in about one minute. And some of the best cameras it covers here are the Canon EOS R5, a full frame mirrorless camera, Sony A7S III, the GH5S, uh, Blackmagic Pocket Camera, DJI Osmo Action. So you can see here it's giving you good quality information that can take away that research, that legwork. Um, if you wanted to create a blog post and even do a video on it, so you can take what it's given you, you can just edit, edit it for your use, whether it's blog posts or video, and it just saves you a lot of time. Some people have even used it for um, other use cases like recipes, creating poems or raps or freestyles. There was, was actually a controversy. CNET, the technology review platform, has been creating AI videos for uh, a little bit before everyone found out about ChatGBT. So you could actually use uh, a technology like ChatGBT in combination with Synthesia to create videos. Um, so taking out the, the research portion as well as actually doing the performance in front of the camera. So that's just one way as a creator or publisher you could really scale uh, using the AI technology.